Eat if you want. Okay. You can give it to a bologna. <laughs> I get enough of that at the office. <laughs> All right. All right, are we filming? Should be. It's flashing, yep. Oh, good. Hi, I'm Rob Moyer, and I'm standing on the edge of Indian River Lagoon. And this is the most diverse wildlife estuary in North America. It's located at the meeting of two climates, the tropical and the temperate. Both temperate from the north, tropical from the south, they both have an their animals here in Indian River Lagoon. And then the lagoon, being between the ocean and the uh, rivers, fluctuates in how salty the water is. So the changing salinity and the changing climate makes this the most diverse habitat, one of the most diverse habitats in the world. And we are upset about this green slime that is coming up on the rocks, and it is being fed by nitrogen that's coming off the land. And the nitrogen is coming from Lake Okeechobee in that direction. It's also coming from some septic and sewage, but they're pretty good about fixing that problem. What remains a problem is fertilizer coming off the land. And the ag businesses are pretty good about not putting too much fertilizer down. And the golf courses are exemplary. Dr. Edie Witter has uh, sampled the marine life and found that the healthiest marine life, due to the right amount of nitrogen, she found that the healthiest marine life, due to the right amount of nitrogen, is uh, off the golf courses because they're doing it right. So what we want is to see lawn owners treating their lawns as well as do the golf course people. Because right now, the EPA found that lawns are getting five times as much fertilizer as they need. And this is a problem in the summertime because that is when there's the most daylight and so that's when algae grows the most on June 21st. And it's also when your lawn grows the most, but then after June 21st, the grass will start growing upwards and start thickening. Uh, it just has a physiological change when the days start getting shorter again. So that the secret is, the successful thing to do is to use slow release nitrogen, at least 50% in the spring, and that'll feed your lawn all the way through and don't put any sound during what we call the fertilizer holiday, June 1st to September 30th. That's the hottest time, so it's the most conducive for algal growth. That's when nitrogen is a limiting factor to algal growth instead of temperature and daylight. And in Florida, we get these rains, which wash it all in. So you do not have to have much rain in the spring when you're applying the fertilizer. So it's better to do it then and have a ban there. The, the government is slow to move on getting people to um, practice responsible stewardship by passing an ordinance to do that. And therefore, people from around the world are writing to the commissioners, and this is the, our first edition of 60,000 signatures. There's a cover letter and then followed by signatures with uh, comments. And uh, this is turning a tide on getting the commissioners to uh, to pass responsible land stewardship of our lawns. We need your help to get these to the commissioners. We invite you to support the Ocean River Institute. Make a contribution. A small contribution will enable us to print one more of these or some more of the pages uh, so that these documents can be in the offices of the commissioners. They've also in the offices of the newspapers around here. And if we have enough funds, perhaps the libraries, so that the local people can see the national interest in Indian River Lagoon. So thanks for listening. And for more information, go to www.oceanriver.org, where you can participate by signing the petition. And take a moment to write a comment. And I'll get them back. I get to read them, make sure you sound good, and we'll put it together into a binding like this. Thank you.